is the 17-year-old uh, who we really liked in the short program. Kim Hai Jin for Korea, 16th in the Olympics, six in the uh, four continents. In fact, she has just 16 years of age. She'll be uh, 17 in a month's time. So uh, a prodigious talent. Music. Black Swan for Kim Hai Jin. to begin with a double toe. Well, she had a lot of speed going into that. Looked to me like there could be an edge call on it. But down on the triple flip, that is a surprise. She looks so secure in her jumping technique. That will have... Uh, Shocked her a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, nicely landed on that triple toe loop. Yeah, she took a long look at it on the way in, didn't she? Big, big pause. step sequence not a lot of edge quality on that judges looking for deep edges and clean turns no double footed big double footed landing on that triple that's yeah, the thing that's really going to hurt her is she was uh, forwards on that so it's a double downgrade lost a lot of points there things starting to go uh, a little awry Flip combination. Yes, better. Double axle, double toe, double toe, double loop, rather. Yeah, hand to the head. That was uh, a hiccup, really, in her career. Hopefully no more than that. You can see it's uh, 
It's a tough one to take because she is uh, marked out as someone who's got a glittering future at the age of 16. And this all the start of a path towards the Olympics in her home country in four years' time. And then we'll know how good she is and how much she can achieve. But hopefully nothing more than a blip, that. but a blip it was. Yeah, it certainly was. On a positive note, I thought it was a fantastic effort uh, to nail that triple flip towards the end of the program, particularly after she'd made a few mistakes just before that, and she went down on the triple flip early on, which uh, really rocked her confidence, I think. So that was a highlight. That showed the sort of courage that she's got. And uh, just to give an indication of how important it is to, to do the rotation, the uh, under rotation on the triple loop and singling that Lutz will cost her around eight points. Yeah. You see there going into that Lutz, she's a little under rotated on that, so she's going to get um, at least a single downgrade on that Lutz and definitely an edge call. She's on the inside edge on the way in, rocks onto the outside but goes back onto the inside before she takes off. Here's that flip. She has a good technique on that. Again, slightly under-rotated. It's not quite as sharp as normal. If, you, if you're a little short on rotation, it does make it very difficult to maintain control on that landing. You've got to be mighty quick getting that free leg out and really have your weight over your right foot. Now, this is the flip at the end of the program, I think. Much, much sharper there. And uh, everything right on the cusp of being called it. It could be quite a pause actually for the before the marks come up because uh, I'm sure the technical panel will review quite a lot of these elements. Well you can see the review hasn't helped her either. The marks have gone down. If only that triple flip had, ha had been uh, the one earlier on, the confidence level that you've alluded to would have been so much stronger. Yeah I think it would have been a completely different program if she stayed up on the flip. It's uh, yeah going to be a tough tough score this for her. I'm pretty sure she's got quite a few downgrades on there. Best free skate scores, 109.36 is going to be way short of that. Yeah. Really tough. So I'm afraid 